hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk about how we can enhance our power apps calories with vibrant colors based on the item types so i have opened this my demo app which is showing one of the gallery on the left hand side the left hand navigation and i have this a uh, few items which are of type laptop camera projector and i wish to assign them a color based on the type so this we are going to talk about with simple usage of formulas and let's say like uh, you are not having this item type uh, column but you are having status column so status column is pretty simple because we cannot have more than three four status so we can write multiple if or switch statements in the fill of my shapes which can pick the colors of my choice but what if my let's say my item category is too big 15 20 items so i want to have some formulas in place which can pick a dynamic color based on the some lookup type rather than writing individual if and switch statements so that we are going to see in today's video so i will close this one and we will start from make.powerapp studio to start building out once app and i will have this app to start with page design and i'll choose that gallery connected to external data and in the external data we'll be using sharepoint as an data source so if i go to my this tab you will see i have the sales table which has title brand quantity and few other columns so this data we are going to bind up with power apps and then later on we are going to build a collection of colors based on the item types so as soon as our gallery get rendered so we will become the current selected item and then looking up that color out of that collection which we are building as a part one and then we will fill that color so i'll just go to my power apps and we'll just connect this first of all the SharePoint list to my Power Apps as a data source, and I'll scroll down and select my list as sales table. We'll wait for our app to get provision. So right now, our, we got our app created with one main screen, and we have the screen main container and body containers. In the body container, I have this sidebar container where my actually this left navigation gallery resides so we already got it now we will start as i said like we'll be using two simple formulas to pick the color for the respective item type so i am going to start with app i'll just write on start of app i need to build out one collection of colors so that i can use that collection so it's not just few two or three conditions it's a collection of 10 colors i need to build on so that we can pick out the colors based on this collection so in this on start i have written one collection item color mapping and in this item type is laptop then back color should be blue item type is camera then back background color should be yellow this type of collection i have already built it so you just need to paste it and once it's pasted just run on start so that our collection gets initialized so that is step number one and now we have to come to our this records gallery and select any of this internal item and we are going to insert one shape so that we can use that shape to specify the, our colors so i'll just expand these shapes and pick this let's say circle so it will drop the circle over to my gallery i can resize it to place it better you can use a rectangle or you can still use the internal already existing rectangle within your gallery so i'm just using this one so that i can actually show you how it looks like so once it's done you can just pick your this circle and you have to go to your fill property and over here in this fill property we have to write a lookup so that we can look up the color based on the item type so for that i'll just expand this my area and we'll start writing it so i'll just use lookup 
function where I'll be looking up my items color mapping. And in this mapping, what condition I would be looking for? I look for item type from my items color mapping collection, which should be equal to my, this item. So this item will give me the current item. And I'll just go to this because in this data source, I have this item type into my title field. So I'll just pick that as my title. And if that is there, then I will be. I want to extract my background color property if this condition matches up and we'll just close it. And if I minimize it, you can see it has started picking up the colors based on the item category for this gallery. So with this, we have just saved it. I'll just say demo color app. So this is a very quick way of categorizing your gallery based on the type. So this is just starting preliminary part and where you can actually use instead of these colors, you can actually have the images or the logos in front of each and every category. But the main intent of this video is you can do this uh, looking up your color or images using just two quick formulas. One, creating or initializing your color mapping collection and then looking up item. So we, instead of writing if and switch statements for picking up the colors, you can do, you can achieve this part with the same, these two simple formulas. So when we run it, you will see like your gallery has this color specifying based on the category. So this was a quick tip, not a big video. And if you are already familiar with these formulas, then that's good. But for a person who is starting working on this galleries, then it's a good way of catching up, good way of how you can tweak the stuff around it. So that is it for today's video. Thank you.